Hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure brings us to Walmart. I'm going to try to see how much physical media, specifically horror movies, I can still find on the shelves in Walmart. I've looked at Target and I've looked at Best Buy, and both of those basically just have one section completely that they dedicate to physical media. So we're going to see how Walmart compares to Best Buy and Target because they normally have a bigger selection than those two. You can see we're already in the electronics section. So next thing you know, we're gonna be on the DVD Blu-ray aisle. So join me if you dare. One, two, spooky five. Okay, so this is the first end cap that we have found. Looks like these are collectible glow-in-the-dark cover arts. They normally release these around spooky season for Halloween, and it's normally usually horror movies, but looks like these are movie collections. Here's Jurassic World, Jurassic Park collection, six movie collection for $35. Not, not too terribly priced for six movies. We also have The Mummy. Ultimate Collection for $12.96. Not as many movies in this. I think it's maybe three or four movies in the Mummy franchise total that you'll get with this collection. And it's not just collections, but they do have the Back to the Future trilogy also, as well as a standalone Blu-ray Helen Hunt classic Twister. I don't know how Twister got a reissue with the Glow in the Dark cover, but they also have the Scorpion King 5 movie collection as well as Renfield for $12.96 each for both of those. Final Destination, this is probably the best buy. $9.96 for all five films. And was just reading the other day that Part 6 has been confirmed and will be released in 2025. No doubt this is the deal of the day right here. Limited edition Glow in the Dark artwork plus all five Final Destination films for only 10 bucks. You can't even rent it or stream it for that price unless the movies are on one of the free apps. Also, the the three movie collection for The Thing, of course, the original John Carpenter, as well as one from like the 60s. There you see in the middle that's a black and white edition. Also, Tremors for 20 But I want to touch base on Ghostbusters here since Frozen Empire drops this year. This is the three movie collection. You don't get the 2016, but you do get Afterlife. Looks like the Melissa McCarthy version is left out of this one. I want to slide this out so we can kind of see what the actual packaging looks like. Here you see it's Afterlife and the classics, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Not a bad price. But while I'm in the physical media section, Netflix has an entire section like this LED light for the Hellfire Club from Stranger Things. As well as this little upside down analog TV capsule. This would be a cool piece just to sit on your your desk or or whatnot. Reminds you of the old days hooking a VCR up and watching all kinds of scary movies. Of course that's what Stranger Things is based upon the 1980s. The glorious 1980s. So a popcorn bowl here. Not Stranger Things related, just a Netflix logo, these little blind bags also I'm not what is this this is a two pack of socks for stranger things these are the two pairs that you get included inside the package here as well as a stranger things tie-dye kit looks like the socks are 498 not a bad price for two pairs of socks figured they'd be like 15 bucks there's a boxed t-shirt just a standard stranger things logo size would drown me 2XL, but not really a Stranger Things fan, so I'm not going to see if I can hunt out my size. There's these little Wednesday speakers. I guess these are like Bluetooth speakers. Of course, that's not Wednesday. And here's Thing. 20 bucks for these little portable speakers. These are like little coasters here of Stranger Things. Yeah, an entire section just dedicated to Netflix. More physical media. Here's Stranger Things Final LP. And here's a Stranger Things book also. I guess a book is considered physical media since you're not reading a digital book. So, coloring books also. Castlevania. 
I remember the old Castlevania NES game, not the newer Netflix version. But let's move over here to TV series. Here, this isn't a TV series, but this is Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection for $60. So, 30 films for $60. You see Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein. Then some of the more obscure stuff, Invisible Man Returns, The Invisible Woman, just all kinds of stuff. And then there's hours of bonus features also. So if you're a big Universal Monsters fan, just kind of freeze up on here and you can read what's on there for $60. But look at this. Now I know The Walking Dead has a massive number of seasons and the show is still going, but $135 or $170. I guess one of these... Is like a variant cover with extra discs, but these are both the original Walking Dead series, and they're both the complete series for well over a hundred dollars. You see Negan there, the iconic "Don't Open Dead Inside," which started out in season one, episode one. Rick Grimes there. You gotta buy the DVD. But let's look at this one. One hundred and seventy dollars. It's the same thing, but I think this one has a few extra bonus discs as well but this is also the walking dead the complete collection you can see carol and here's a zombie on this side so looks like this one just okay okay i got it that's the blu-ray the other was the dvd got it now got it i saw it that's the blu-ray and this one is the dvd okay that explains why that one's more this one is fear the walking dead not the complete collection but this is missing everything except for season eight the most recent season for 60 bucks then we have the complete saw collection saw one through 10 because 11 comes out later this year in 2024 not too bad of a price okay here's more we have the complete collection of the adams family do 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 long before wednesday was a netflix series you had the original adams family big big fan of this show as well as the original monsters less than 20 bucks you can own the entire Seasons of the Adams Family also includes special features. So that's that's not going to break the bank too terribly. We also have Charmed if we want to include Charmed for $75. I never was really big into Charmed. Just never really got into it. I did have a big crush on Alyssa Milano when I was younger. We also have Grimm for 60 bucks. I think you can stream that entire series free. Looks like that's it for horror. We make our way around. We have the newer releases. We have the Blu-ray plus digital Thanksgiving. I guess the Blu-ray plus digital is your best buy plus the DVD plus digital. That way if you just want to collect physical media. Up oh, here we go. Fear the Walking Dead season eight. So if you buy this for 20 bucks to put with the other, you have the complete collection for 80 bucks. Five nights at Freddy's. I really think that they should create like a real Five Nights at Freddy's, maybe at Universal Studios to kind of be like a Chuck E. Cheese. I really think that as popular as this movie and this game is, that people would really get behind a physical Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant. I mean, it's like a Game and, a game and Busters, excuse me, a Dave and Busters. So, I mean, yeah, why not? Let's see if we see anything else. Uh, no more DVDs, just what would normally would be the NECA horror section, but all I'm seeing is E.T. Funkos, as well as, looks like down here we have King Kong in the NECA section. It's not really horror, he's more sci-fi adventure. Back to the Future. Looks like a lot of Back to the Future, and it looks like they're all going to probably be Doc Browns. And back here I think we did see one Toonie Terrors figure. And it is, it's Ghostface. He saw this physical media, so he's only got to ask one question. What's your favorite scary movie? Okay, so there's a box back here on a back end cap. Here's a newer movie, Haunting in Venice. For all these DVDs to be thrown in this cardboard box back here, it looks like they're definitely clearing out physical media. 2023 Haunted Mansion. I don't think any of these are... On clearance yet they're probably five dollar bin bound if the five dollar bin is still a thing i have not seen that yet on my journey through physical media here at walmart beetlejuice 4k ultra hd another one that the second installment after over 30 years comes out later this year so definitely we'll be touching base on that on this channel 
more haunted mansion just gonna flip through here pray that's more of a action movie lots of prey and haunted mansions in here oh wow look at here this could be the the crown jewel of the, the hunt today a lot of people didn't like this movie but another one that's getting a sequel in a matter of months Winnie the Pooh blood and honey part two is scheduled for release later this year I <laughs> this isn't your grandparents Winnie the Pooh I enjoy this movie I know a lot of people do not me and Ashley my counterpart on the channel here talk about that all the time. She does not support Disney horror. I, however, do. I think that it's pretty good. This was a good movie last summer. Talk to me. Watch that the summer of 2023. Looks like they've just kind of cleared this stuff out. They're not even taking up shelf space anymore. It's just basically you've got to do your hunt for physical media now at Walmart. The Blackening. I have not watched this yet, but I have heard that it's pretty good. It is definitely on my watch list, and I do need to check this out. I definitely think this is probably one that after I watch it, I will say great things about. So I definitely have to check that one out. Let's see what else we can find in here. Mayberry RFD. I don't think Andy Griffith is a... Uh, horror show. Oh, that's Christmas movies. Shout out to my sister. I know she'd appreciate that. <laughs> Murder, she wrote. The original Law and Order. Doesn't look like there's much more horror to be found. Suitable flesh. I'm not sure what this is. I just know that the, the cover art looks kind of retro, but if you've ever seen that, sound off in the comments and let us know if it's any good or not. As I continue my journey here, for specifically horror movies, Ninja Turtles, Two and a Half Men, not what we're looking for today, so we can just get those out of the way, as well as Pikachu. Uh, here's Peanuts. Let's see if the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown is included on this. Yeah, it is. It has all the holiday classics. So, I mean, if you're if you're a spooky season fan, you've got to appreciate it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Most of us grew up watching that his kids back in the day so how can you how can you not have a special place in your heart for it's the great pumpkin charlie brown just can't believe how they've thrown all this physical media just around in boxes shrek looks like i think we are about at the end of our journey here for physical media at walmart Okay, a Walmart classic, just when I thought I would not find it. Here we go, the infamous, notorious $5 bargain bin that you have to dig through. It's basically a treasure hunt. I'm not going to dig all the way through this because it's going to be impossible to do, but I've already found Smile, which was released in 2022, and now it's $5. And what is this we have here? We have Black Phone. Black Phone, also from 2022. Another one that's getting a sequel. Also in the $5 bin. Look, Scream 1, 2, and 3 for 5 bucks. Not the complete collection, but three of the, the best. Even though the one from last year was good. Cobweb, I have not seen that yet. I've heard good things about that, but it's also here in the $5 bargain bin also. Kind of impossible to dig through this by holding the phone and recording. Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. I don't even remember this one. If you know what year this was, sound off in the comments below because I kind of stopped after Paranormal Activity 3. Uh, I'm not going to read that on air, but you can kind of see what that was. Clueless, we've filmed the Clueless Witch House. Look for that video also on our YouTube channel here. It's a great video if you would like to check it out. Yeah, there's tons of movies in here if you're looking for a, a bargain, but I am not going to dig through all of this at all. I did see the nun. I lost it. I'm looking through tunnel vision here as I'm looking through the camera, but the nun was in here also. And this is Pray for the Devil. I think that's kind of like a a nun style movie, but not affiliated with it. Five dollar movies. You can get a hundred and ninety eight dollar TV also. So definitely not as much physical media as you once used to find inside of a Walmart, but they do still have some physical media on the shelves. 
What do you think about this? We've also touched base on this at Target that I've been to and Best Buy that I have also been to. Let us know what you think down in the comments below about the physical media selections at your Walmarts, Targets, or Best Buys and how this one compares to your stores in your area. And if you like this type of content, how about slashing that subscribe button and joining the club. And until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.